We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship Zooming through the sky, me and my sister It's giving cute The perfect, the perfect pepper We do need sustenance sustenance before we go grocery shopping what's poppin it's your favorite fashionable foodie life enthusiast it's unique aka miss live a little back at it again with another vloggy vlog this one is gonna be different because remember when i said the cooking content is coming soon just you wait on it so i am at my friendly neighborhood grocery store aka loblaws and my sister's with me My sister's laughing at me because it's said to have roasted peppers and I'm like, oh, do I have to roast it myself? <laughs> They're terrible for the beefing sound. <laughs> Just thinking about cooking is making me tired. So I commend those who can do it with ease. Because... I can do it and you'll see, I can do it. I'm gonna stop saying that I can't cook. It's not that I can't cook. It's just that the passion I have for, let's say, editing, YouTube, this life is not in cooking. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen. This is definitely I don't know if you guys know this, but the kitchen looks a little different. Moment of silence for the old kitchen. This is what it was hitting for. It was still cute, but now we're brand new. This is definitely a long time coming. I tried, I got it started. We were running well, I would say two years ago or a year ago, and I fell off the wagon. I know that I love eating, so wouldn't it be a benefit just to add that extra thing on my list of amazing things that I'm good at? I am making a pasta that I saw online. Let's make something out of nothing. Today we got a roasted red pepper shrimp and sausage pasta. The most simplest thing to make really is pasta. I really want to start to know my family secret recipes, like that oxtail, that curry goat. You know, that's what I really want to transition to. But for today, it's a Sunday. My mom's chilling, my sister's chilling. So I thought this is just the best opportunity to, you know, get in there and make a meal for them and see how it goes. So I got my ingredients. This is what I grabbed. <laughs> now time to cut these sausage i'm trying to think if it makes sense to cook the sausage first then chop it but my sister said nah so i washed my perfect peppa you know we pivoted it's getting to more what i want So I'm getting all my powders. One teaspoon of basically everything that I'm about to put in. I added Cajun seasoning, but the recipe did not call for it. All right, y'all, reality check. So I wanted to time myself, but because I'm also obviously recording for this video, this is not a realistic time frame. I want to show also the behind the scenes. So I'm currently putting all the lids back on all the <laughs> spices that I just took apart. That's one thing about the cooking is like, I don't mind it. I actually love it. Just trying something new. 
getting creative and then it actually tasting bomb. But the cleanup, mm, 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 mm. that is not it for me. But at the end of it, I get to enjoy the meal and not worry about anything else because I put everything back in the drawer where it's supposed to be. You get me? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be honest, y'all. I don't know where to go next. It makes sense to get a strainer for the pasta. It makes sense to get a bowl for the pasta. So, not a bowl, <laughs> a pan for the pasta. Another actual pan for the shrimp and Imagine if I box my phone. Um, another pan for the shrimp and Sausage. We have that Italian sausage cut up. We have the shrimp, my spices. So he put the same spices in the roux or sauce as on the shrimp. So I made two bowls. Over here, we have the red peppers. I minced the garlic as well. And then I have, I had a little bit of red onion and I was like, may as well cut it up and put it in there as well so hopefully that adds to the flavor i am stalling so i have extra virgin olive oil oh and that be putting in more than a cap full so i have my seasoning here i'm gonna just mix it up so it's even now that that's mixed, I'm gonna dust it all over the shrimp. Okay, we're listening to that sizzle. So at least they're gonna be seasoned well. So y'all, I will say I definitely feel satisfied with the way the shrimp looks. To be fair, I definitely probably had the shrimp on way too high, but that's okay, because we pivot. So I had to just clear the pan and now I'm adding in the sausage. All right now, baby. <laughs> I don't know what that voice was, but listen, we are not master chefs here. We are just chefs. So therefore, it's not always gonna look dandy, pretty, and great. What we gonna get somewhere, okay? I turned it down because it was getting a little crazy, but now I can turn it up a bit. And I think it's time for the pasta to boil because after that is the, the roux and the sauce. And I think that's gonna go fairly quickly. And I'm gonna be a weirdo in measure. That was two cups. I'll do three cups. Because there's three of us and I just feel like that's the safest bet. Away this goes. I'm adding my minced garlic. Onions. Now time to add the peppers. Y'all, did you hear that if you put a wooden spoon above your pasta, then it won't overboil? Did you hear that? And it actually works, so we love to see it. 
the bow tie pass is looking great. <laughs> we got the peppers, garlic, and onion sauteing. I'm going to add the heavy cream in a second. It's time for the heavy, heavy cream. It's time for the heavy, heavy cream. Half in, half in, half in, half cream. So I'm going to do, it says a cup and a half. But I feel like I did a little bit more than a cup. This whole thing is two cups. So let me see. I think I'm going to do the whole carton. Yeah, makes sense. Let's get into the pool. the most important part the seasoning and the second important part is coming up <laughs> need to open this okay I'm struggling I'm just gonna go for it half the container is needed <laughs> not ruining like it should but I I feel like I need to just trust the process so this is how it's coming along I'm hoping it gets thicker because it's a little watery right now full transparency moment recording and cook oh! recording and cooking at the same time is not for the week I have to remember to get this shot so I can show y'all the process and blah 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 but also I have to make sure things don't burn or get too crazy. But with that being said, I'm going to do like a quick taste test because I wanna see if at least I got the flavors right for this root. So here it goes. Surprise, girl! You might have done did some, might have done did some, might have done did some. All right, so I'm gonna put the sausage in. Let me move this spoon so you guys could see. It's getting thick. This is real life, y'all. Okay, I want it to be ruey and saucy. It's not looking ruey. It's looking more curdly with all the ingredients in it but the flavor is there so we're gonna give ourselves a round of applause for that one let's see the sound what it sounds like it still sounds like it still sounds good so <laughs> we're winning on that front i hope you guys like watch this enjoy it and then like give me tips on what I can improve or what I, not necessarily what I did wrong, but what I can improve. Okay, we don't speak in the negative, so it's not a, you're so bad at this, it's, this is what you could do better. That's what I want. All right, little, little gang, thank you for rocking with me. It is time to finally plate this food. This is my favorite bowl shape. So we're gonna start with this. Y'all, so this is the final product. I tried to play it cute. Um, the cooking shows will say that it needs something fresh, something green, I agree. Or a plate of salad or something. Moment of a oh, truth. You know what? For what it's worth, it tastes blessed. I think I had all the right seasoning. Okay. I think that me trying to add my own flavors to the shrimp was a no-go. Um, the shrimp could be good for like a shrimp taco because it's like Cajun-y. But I think with the ingredients, 
for the actual roux, it's a no-go for me. Everything else tastes like roasted, creamy, garlic. Mm -mm -mm. It goes well with the Italian sausage. Mm -hmm. Let me know if you try it. Let me know if it's a vibe. Let me know how you think I did. And I definitely will do this again. I love this for me. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. My other content is also a vibe. On a scale of zero to spin the block, I would definitely spin the block for this one. Bye. <laughs>